My research group designs new drugs, mostly against cancer. We base them on metal centers and build sophisticated structures with organic ligands. We investigate the compounds for their biological properties and modes of action. And to do so, we develop new analytical methods. For drug delivery, we explore supramolecular architectures that respond to external stimuli for drug release. We embrace surprising discoveries and develop new ways of thinking to break established paradigms. My name is Christian Hartinger. I'm a professor in inorganic chemistry and I lead the Bioinorganic and Medicinal Inorganic Chemistry Research Group in the School of Chemical Sciences at the University of Auckland. My research group is best known for our work on metal-based anti-cancer drugs. Cancer is a terrible disease. It is among the biggest killers in the world, but research has made significant progress. and Many tumors can nowadays be treated effectively. But there are many others which we don't have a good handle on, and this is what we try to change. More than 50% of all cancer patients receive chemotherapeutics which contain the metal platinum. Now, most people associate platinum with jewelry or perhaps car catalysts rather than with anti-cancer drugs. But in fact, the introduction of platinum compounds has had a big impact on the treatment of cancer. The most widely known platinum anti-cancer drugs are cisplatin, carboplatin and oxaliplatin, which bind to DNA and thereby kill cancer cells. Cancer patients often experience side effects during treatment with chemotherapeutics. My research is in biological inorganic and medicinal inorganic chemistry, and we use an interdisciplinary approach in which we aim to develop anti-cancer drugs with novel modes of action that show more selective activity in tumors and tumor cells over healthy tissue, so that we can increase the range of curable tumors. My group has expertise in synthetic, inorganic, organometallic, supramolecular and analytical chemistry, and we utilize the skills to tackle one of the biggest problems mankind faces and try to understand at the fundamental level the effects our compounds have on biomolecules, for example proteins. We often discover unprecedented reactions, which excites me each and every time, and it is always a highlight when we can explain the observations. We often base our anti-cancer agents on organometallic scaffolds. This compound type is defined by having a metal carbon bond. Organometallics are extremely rich in structural motifs and in particular 3D shapes, which cannot be achieved easily with organic molecules. Some of the structures we are interested in are shown on this slide and all of them have been found to show anti-cancer activity, at least in cell models, but some of them have also been investigated in clinical trials. By introducing new scaffolds, we try to increase the chemical space that is available for cancer treatment and obtain new compound types with non-classical modes of action. We use metals such as ruthenium, rhodium, osmium, iridium, platinum, palladium and cobalt to build our new anti-cancer agents. We know about concerns with heavy metals and the related toxicity but we can control the toxicity by decorating them with ligands, which give the compounds, in combination with the metal center, the desired properties. Speciation is key when it comes to toxicity, and with careful ligand design, we equip our metal complexes with the biological properties we are looking for. We often aim to inhibit proteins overexpressed in cancer cells or to accumulate our complexes at tumor sites or in tumor cell compartments both of which are opportunities to improve the selectivity and outcome of chemotherapy. Over the years, my group has worked with many compound groups, some of which are shown on this slide. We've discovered compounds with unusual interactions with biomolecules. We have worked on compounds that exploit the high energy demand of quickly dividing cancer cells, have more than one metal center incorporated. Compounds which inhibit enzymes bind to carrier proteins and peptides, and anti-cancer agents that feature more than one mode of action. We call them multimodal compounds. In these multimodal or multi-targeted compounds, as we also call them, we combine bioactive ligands, 
organic molecules that have shown some type of biological activity that is relevant to cancer themselves. We combine them with metal centers to achieve a synergistic effect. We have explored many of such compounds and some of them have shown promising effects in cancer cells and in in vivo models. Here we see one example where we have coordinated flavanols to metal centers. Such ligands inhibit enzymes such as dopoisomerase, while the metal center itself is able to bind to DNA. And their combination resulted in increased enzyme inhibitory activity and ability to kill cancer cells compared to the individual building blocks in our molecule. I have always had an interest in analytical chemistry and nurtured that when I was at the University of Vienna and the EPFL in Switzerland, and then brought the developed methods with me to the University of Auckland. It seemed like a natural way to go to develop new analytical methodology that would help us to determine the modes of action of metal-based drugs. And there was a big gap in knowledge that was just waiting to be filled. I have always had a high affinity for mass spectrometry, a method essentially used as a balance for molecules. We often use mass spectrometric tools to study the properties of our compounds, which allows us to cover a huge range of samples from centimeter dimensions to the study of specific metal biomolecule bonds. As you can see on this slide, we combine mass spectrometry with other methods. We use it to measure the distribution of metals in organs of animal models treated with our anti-cancer agents, or to identify what types of reactions they undergo with biomolecules. Searching for these metal compound biomolecule interactions on the molecular level is like looking for a needle in a haystack. There are so many biomolecules our drug molecules could interact with in different tissues in the body, and often they are present in very low concentrations and difficult to detect in complex biological matrices. Developing a method to pin down the molecular target is however key to elucidate those target biomolecules for our metal compounds. This is an extremely challenging task, but highly important when it comes to drug development. We introduced metalloproteomics methods that can confirm our design hypotheses and allow us to even design compounds that would be more promising to investigate. The most important and most informative is the drug pull-down approach, which gives us direct insight to what happens to our compounds in cancer cells. Metal compounds behave very differently to organic molecules, and this needs to be accounted for when it comes to method development. Thanks to our wide range of collaborations, we've had access to a variety of analytical instruments and methods, all with their own strengths and weaknesses and we have used them to investigate our compounds in detail. This has given us a formidable set of tools that allows us to dig deep into properties of our compounds. As said before, down to the interactions at the molecular and atomic level. Many people follow our research and build on it, which is great to see. We appreciate when our approaches and methods are picked up by other research groups. After all, this is what science is all about. Researchers develop new tools that are used in and improved by others, and eventually they will contribute to the development of drugs. This goal is always in the back of our minds. Research is all about the people. I'm extremely proud of my group, past and present, and my students and postdocs play a key role in our research efforts. I'm extremely grateful for all the contributions they have made and will certainly make in future. Drug de development in general is a multidisciplinary endeavor, and we are working closely with researchers that complement our expertise. We wouldn't be able to do the work we are doing without the fantastic collaborators we have in a variety of disciplines, from chemistry, biology and medicine to computer science, wherever they are in the world, local, national or international. We thank the funding agencies like the Marsden Fund and many others for their financial support. We appreciate their trust in our abilities, creativity and the support we get. Let's dare to imagine and dream big and cure cancer.